Anybody got any questions they like to ask? Go back. I was just wondering about Intralect and whether it was specific to a certain type of repository or whether it can be, if you've got a different repository set up, you could tweak it to upload it to anything. Um, you can upload into anything. The, the restriction at the moment is that this is using IMS content packaging as the packaging standard. But if you have a repository that supports SORD and IMS content packaging, then this will work with it. Yeah. That's the great thing about SORD. SORD 1.3 or SORD This is SORD 1.3 at the moment. 1.3. Any indication of SORD 2? At some that? stage, yes. Oh, Yeah, my other question was just for the uh, arts, and you just mentioned on something that I've never understood, and I don't know if there's institutional repository people here, but you said uh, sometimes it's quite hard to find the repository, and sometimes universities and give them weird names. What, can you not tell them just to call it a data repository and put it on, obviously they don't have to put it on the home page, but... You know. uh, I mean, it's something that we have discussed um, in, within the group, and we did... Um, have a very short exercise and have a go at sort of like a branding exercise because, for example, with Google, you just say Google, you don't say search engine. And we thought, well, you know, what could you call a repository, you know, like a Moodle? No, obviously, that's taken, but, you know, something um, that would be different and catchy. But I think ultimately it's um, about advocacy, really. It comes down to advocacy. Peter. Um, question, which is a shameless advert. Um, have you thought about using the phrase, put it in the depot? And then up would come your institution, put it in data, and hey, you get there. <laughs> um, we, 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 had, we had a workshop looking at terminology, and we did, we did sort of discuss lots of, of different terms. But yeah, thank you for the plug. <laughs> So, so if Sword 2 is awesome, which I agree, what about Sword 3? I've looked up on the page. What's Sword 3 going to do? Is Sword 3 on the page already, is it? Oh, what? Someone, someone else on the project. Yeah, Sword 3 kick-off meeting. Further ahead than me. Ah, there, so, <laughs> um, there was a confusion with numbering. The projects were called Swords 1 through 4, but the versions of Swords were Swords 1 and 2. So the Sword 2 project is the fourth Sword project. So, yes. But, <laughs> It was very confusing. We dropped that at the beginning of this project. So, I, I, to answer the actual question about Sword 3, though, I don't, I don't anticipate there will be one. Sword 2 oh. should have covered all of the things that it needs to do. It doesn't, we don't have pretensions of adopting more bits of the written infrastructure and making it part of the protocol. It's, it's got a job, and, and, uh, and I think like, Sword 2 is going to cover all of the aspects. Maybe a 2 1, maybe. That's what it's too important Yes, exactly. I'm sure someone told me never go for a point zero release or something. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just me. Um, it wasn't really a question, it was more of a highlight for the Cultivate project. Um, Marie Trey's uh, has done some excellent work in, in engaging the art, creative arts um, community. And there's about 40 institutions involved in the culture group too, so there's a huge willingness and um, need um, for work in this area. That's why the Cultivate um, project was funded. Um, and it was a recognition that there's more work being done in the kind of um, research repositories in terms of the uh, research papers. So, um, but yeah, the project's done amazingly in terms of pulling in and engaging um, that user community and getting buy-in in terms of, you know, what in terms of metadata, the technical requirements, the, um, uh, the pre preservation. Uh, there's a whole whole lot of heap of issues which the project has has covered in terms of obviously advocacy. So yeah, I just wanted to highlight that. <laughs>